Hi water signs, tarot twins here. Welcome Cancer Pisces Scorpio to your left or right tarot reading. We're going to be having a look at who you'll end up with um, and you will have to choose a pile either left or right and I am joined by Black Feather Tarot. Hi guys, I will be looking after the right pile here. And I'll be looking after the left. We have pre-shuffled them but we're going to shuffle them again on camera but just for a moment, um, just to uh, take some time to meditate mm -hmm. on which pile you're drawn to, which which one catches your eye, which one you feel like you want to explore, uh, and then we'll see what comes up, who you'll end up with, the kind of relationship you'll have, what else we can learn about them. So How you might meet. Exactly. So um, this is pile on the left hand side. And just a quick reminder, if you were after a private reading with us, um, feel free to reach out and uh, mention Tarot Twins in your subject line to arrange a private reading. And we can uh, certainly arrange that for you. Otherwise, let's kick it off. Uh, water signs, if you pick to left. Oh, okay, Destiny is calling here. We've got the Ace of Cups and the Star card. Wonderful. Uh, Destined Aquarius might be coming in. We have the Empress, but it's reversed. Mm. Okay, we've got the Moon. Stars Cancer. and the Moon. Yeah. That's Cancer energy, so possibly a fellow... Okay, Cancer has come up twice with the moon and the chariot, so that's um, very powerful, okay? Straight away, strong emotional bond with this person, but I really want to be drawn to that star card here, okay? You're going to meet someone who's star quality, who's very rare, uh, someone who may be in the public eye, someone who may be very well known. It is someone new. The Ace of Cups is telling me it's someone new that's destined for the water sign, which is you, uh, now, this kind of relationship, you've never had it before, and this is someone you're really going to want to hang on to with the Four of Pentacles. I get a clingy or a somewhat possessive energy with the Four of Pentacles. So straight away, um, the two of you are going to really want to own each other in a way. Um, now, I feel with the Chariot card as well, you'll be great at overcoming obstacles together. Uh, but I feel with the chariot as well, I, I get a sense of fame next to this person. So they're well known for something. They're well known for their talents. They're good at problem solving or managing things very well. They could be in some sort of leadership role as well. Again, people are looking to them for direction. They're quite an inspirational energy. Okay, they've learned a lot. They have a lot to teach to motivate people. So they could be in some sort of motivational or inspirational role uh, is the vibe that I'm getting. They may want children or you may, it may end up having children. The moon is the mother. So there could be a maternal link to this person. Either they're very caring, very compassionate. Uh, they like to look after people. Okay, so um, a tenderness to this person. But it could indicate they may want to have children with you. Or they could already have children or even work with children as well. Now, the Empress reversed. She's a Venus energy to me. So I get the sense that it's Taurus or Libra. But to have her come up reversed, it could indicate that this person might not necessarily be your type aesthetically, okay? So maybe you, you are used to going to um, going with people with the dark features, for example, and suddenly, you know, you've got this light-haired person with light features coming in. Or, you know, something about the looks is not what's going to capture you with this connection. So it could indicate the, the attraction on the aesthetic level. They might not be the type that you normally go for, but you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Uh, water signs by by the emotion you're going to feel and I get the sense with the moon because the moon is so powerful in emotion uh, you're going to fall in love with this person and you're going to have a really deep bond with them uh, on the unconscious level on the on the subconscious level I should say uh, this this connection is going to be very powerful and it's going to draw you in it's like a magnetic pull so you're going to be very drawn to this person for inexplicable reasons because you might be questioning like you know they're not I don't really go for them they don't look like the certain type I go for them they don't have this they don't have that but they're going to have something super magnetic okay and it's going to it's going to draw you in and you could be very happy something traditional could come of this ace of cups is often seen as you know getting married getting engaged uh, moving in together having some sort of tradition or ceremony involved in your relationship so lots of milestones uh, is what I'm getting um, with this person but they're also going to bring a lot of newness into your life um, new people new experiences new bonds and this is fantastic you're going to love this but they're going to teach you a lot we look to the stars for guidance and for answers and to see that in the card it's like in the cards it's like this person is going to be teaching you a lot okay inspiring you and 
it's 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 really good i think they're gonna guide you they're going to guide you and you're going to see the worth in it you're going to hold on but the four of pentacles is stability stability um especially in the physical realm so going stable having money having a career uh so i think you'll enjoy these aspects to this person do you get a sense of aviation travel with the stars and the moon around them? Possibly, yes, absolutely. They could do that for work or um, there may be travel to get to this person. It mm -hmm. could be a long distance maybe for one time or another. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, something like that absolutely could mm. pop up too. So uh, really nice over on the left-hand side, but let's see what yes, the right hand let's see side. what the right holds for you. I also just had a message pop into my mind um, with the stars and the moon. Um, for you guys, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you might land in the stars. That's nice. Okay, right hand pile. Okay, who is it that you might potentially end up with? And what type of relationship will you have with this individual, with this energy? Ooh, Seven of Swords. Okay, the Eight of Swords, look at that. The King of Cups, the Five of Swords. The Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Mm. Look, and they're in the same position. I find this fascinating. Look mm -hmm. at that. Isn't that interesting? It could be some sort of link there. There could be a link there, definitely. Okay, the type of a relationship. Um, guys, this seems like it's going to be a bit of a challenging relationship. This seems as though I feel like there are barriers. There are going to be barriers uh, with communication, okay? I feel like this person's energy is very reserved, is very closed off, and I feel like that might somehow um, create problems between the two of you, okay? It feels like this relationship may... It may start off really strong with the Knight of Wands energy, okay? It may be a relationship that starts off with... Oh, this is lo lots of lust, I feel. Mm, yes, yeah. with lust, with like a lot of infatuation. Mm. Um, it's sort of like an addictive quali uh, quality to this energy, whereas this person comes in, they come charging towards you. It's like this magnetic pull. They, you know, they see you in a crowded room and they have to approach you. They have to get to know you. They have to get your number, okay? So it's just this, this person charges for your um, towards your energy. The Knight of Wands is, can be a scattered energy energy okay and the knight of wands is someone who's a little bit impulsive um so with this person i feel like they're a little bit hasty they are very determined though when they want something or when they want someone they make an omission okay this is someone who is going to do some chasing okay i see a lot of chasing around this person's energy however by the same token here i do see a lot of running around this person's energy to me this side right here because of all of this air energy and because of this, the Knight of Wands, which sort of brings to mind, you know, the D the DM being the runner here, I feel like this is a very strong twin flame connection here, okay? The two of you, I feel like, could be very different people, but you're placed in each other's path because you're there to challenge each other, okay? Remember how I said there's a barrier between communication? You, you two communicate very differently, Um I'm also seeing there's a lot of guards, there's a lot, like, I'm seeing someone has a lot, like, their guard up, and I'm seeing someone here is very closed off here, okay, this person is, what this will do is, this is a relationship, if you allow it, that is, um, it will transform you, it will push you outside of your comfort zones, it will test you, it will challenge you here, um, it will test your patience, your character here, but let it do what it's here to do, which is to transform you here. If the two of you can find a way to sort of come together and cooperate with one another and figure out how to better communicate here and how to more openly and honestly communicate here, I'm seeing that this can work wonders, okay? You're dealing with someone who I feel like is going to be a little bit possessive, okay? This person's energy feels like they're a little bit, they can have a bit of a jealous streak or they can be a little bit possessive. Once again, I feel like this person is a little bit guarded, okay? They want certain things like long-term relationship um, and, you know, happiness and love, but I feel like they're not really sure of the approach to take to get that. They're very closed off as well. It could be because this person is so guarded because they're trying to shield their heart, you know, protect their heart. It's a defense mechanism um, or they could just have a hard time opening up here but I do feel like this is someone who can offer you loyalty who can offer you commitment here um, and I did see um, I did say that I see a lot of passion a lot of lust with this um, energy I do feel like this person has a lot of growing to do as well with the king of cups but I feel like it's the two of you coming together what's going to help achieve that there's a lot of growth a lot of um, 
a lot of evolving here, a lot of transformation and transitioning that's going to take place here. It's going to be challenging, but you know, they say pick your battles and some battles. This right here, I feel like is worth fighting for. All right, guys, and that's your reading. So we just want to thank you again for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing, sharing, um, liking, commenting. Um, if you are interested in a personal tarot reading with myself and Felicity Tarot, please feel free to reach out and email us with the subject uh, line Tarot Twins. Otherwise, guys, we, of course, will be sharing more tarot love messages with you throughout the week. Um, thank you again. Thank Bye you very now. much. Take care.